soup to do its thing. Um, I was thinking about what was going on in Egypt, and it was one of those things where um, the people there, the, the priests and the government, were drawing on power reserves of individuals that they were supposed to be um, gathering um, wealth or services um, as payment. They were not doing that. They were receiving the power, the system was working, but they were saying, well, the piper's not really real, so we don't have to pay him. And um, so I think that's, that's basically what happened. And then um, the, the Roma were able to make a deal to be the debt collector on that kind of thing, which is why they can successfully steal a lot of things because a lot of people are in bad accounts. But there's other things that, you know, then they go for something and they end up in trouble because it's really not covered under their protection because that's actually stealing and not um, debt collecting. So, but on a, on a normal day, many generations later, nations have changed and everything like that. It looks an awful lot like stealing. But, um, so you take it further back into the, the main... Uh, the main empowerment, and uh, you know, it, it looks and reads a little bit differently. But, um, and then it, that you widen it out, and that's how you know, when mom was running the compas, um, they were able to come back and go back into Tibet and take what they had left behind there um, and what they were owed, and um, they weren't able to do other things. So, um, so that's, that's kind of how it works. Um, but like I said, you could be standing in a, in a very wide patch of stolen property and um, lots of people are claiming it's theirs. And uh, when, they, when they hit you or grab you or try to make, make it like um, you can't take it back from them, that's real.